Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before I started doing my mods for Buzz here, I wanted to review the stock figure and I grabbed Rex as well, both from the Disney store, the website. And they're very reasonable. I think they're like £25 each, if I remember correctly. And I think they were doing a thing where if you did spend £50 or more, it was free shipping. And because they were both 25 each, I got my free shipping. So it really worked out nice. Came packaged really nicely in a very nice cardboard box with the interior of the box of all the cool Disney uh, characters in black and white. It was just nice presentation and really fair price. So I saw... Um, quite a few videos on Buzz and I knew going in that I wasn't too keen on the head sculpt I think it's a bit large for the body definitely a little bit oversized for the proportions of the actual you know the body and the suit and the dome uh, so I'm going to be changing that head at some point soon and Rex is really really good um, I mean I know his uh, you know obviously a T-Rex you know usually their hands are pointing down with the fingers pointing down we can only assume, I guess, <laughs> you know, the real T-Rex I'm talking about, uh, Big T. But Rex here, his hands are facing up. And in the film, they're kind of, sometimes I guess they're facing up. Maybe it, it's meant to be capturing him in a, in a moment where he's kind of talking. Uh, oh, I'm going for fearsome here, but I just don't feel it. I think I'm just coming <laughs> off as annoying. <laughs> He's really cool though, and I've always loved dinosaurs since I was a kid, so I thought I'd grab Rex for the Toy Story collection. I don't want to start getting into Jesse and Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head and everyone else, Slink, and you know, there's so many characters. I'm quite tempted by Combat Carl. I like him. I uh, only discovered him recently uh, from getting Disney Plus and checking out the uh, Toy Story of Terror story, I think it is, where um, it's quite a cool one. I'll let you check that out if you haven't seen it, but I think it's called Toy Story of Terror. Kind of like a spooky Toy Story, you know, story about 20 minutes long. Very, very good. Um, but Rex is a little bit shiny, as other people have mentioned in their reviews. So today, when I was out and about, I did grab some matte varnish uh, spray clear. Uh, so I'm hoping that tones down the spray, uh, sorry, the shine on him a little bit. I'm also hoping it doesn't make him all tacky to the touch and he's going to feel all sticky afterwards. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case, but um, you know, there's, there's like the signature collection of Rex here, which is obviously probably way more accurate, but I wasn't too bothered about Rex being 100% accurate. I just kind of fancied having him in here uh, amongst everything. He's bigger than I thought he'd be. They, they always are with these things. You think they're going to be a little bit smaller than, and then they turn up and they're huge. It's like, damn, he's a big one. But yeah, I'm going to spray him uh, probably during this review. And then I'll show you the results of that at the end of the video. Uh, fingers crossed it goes well. But we'll just quickly whip through um, the features on Rex here. The tail... It's like a separate piece that you kind of put in and then turn and it clicks into place, obviously, because he's housed in that box there. Uh, so the tail is like a separate bit. And uh, you've got the button here, obviously, to make him talk. I just can't take this kind of pressure. <laughs> it's just a review, Rex. You'll be okay. Well, yeah, no, I don't like confrontations. You're not going up against Buzz, so don't worry about that. I can't watch. Can someone cover my eyes? Oh, I'm so glad you're not a so yeah, the um, different settings on here, um, I think there's three, I think you can, this is like just turning him off so that you can literally just operate the, the jaw and the arms without any uh, voice happening. And then, let's see, what's the other one? The middle setting is... Is. Ah! Yes, sir. Were you scared? Tell me honestly. All right, now I have guilt. I think I'll leave him on that setting. I'm not sure exactly which setting I've got him on, to be honest, but he can interact with the other figures. Uh, once he hears Buzz talking, he'll react and vice versa. Um, but yeah, articulation. He's got some movement in the leg here that goes forwards and backwards. Quite stiff. So you can have him kind of more leaning forward if you want. Uh, I don't think you can. I don't think you can do much with the arms. When I move them up, the, obviously the jaw moves as well. So pretty limited. 
but it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't expect too much from Rex here. It's all good, Rex. Now, I think the underbelly section, obviously there's a lot going on here that shouldn't really be there. Like you've got the sensors here to pick up other figures and all this action going on here. You know, I'd, I'd prefer it was a bit more seamless and just a bit more smooth, but then I should have gone for the signature collection version, I guess, if I wanted that accurate look. But like I said, wasn't too worried about all that stuff with Rex. Just fancied having him in the collection. When I saw him on the Disney store, I was going to get Buzz regardless. And that's what I went to the Disney store online for. And then when I saw, you know, Rex there for like £25, I thought, yeah, I might get him. So I got him. And here he is. Um, but that's about it for articulation. So we'll move on to Buzz now with his big head and his slightly odd cartoonish kind of look. It's almost like, you know, one of those... One of those cartoons where it's it's more for the younger younger kids so they kind of make it look a bit more cute um that's what i'm thinking when i look at this head sculpt it's just it's just not really for me so i'm going to be swapping the head with uh, one of the other buzz figures that i showed you in a previous video quite recently so if you want to see how all that works out then stick to the channel like glue and I will show you all my mods that I'm going to be doing on Woody and Buzz plenty of mods to do on these guys I'm taking my time going into it because I don't want to make any mistakes I've been doing my research watching my YouTube videos and keeping up with channels like today I grew up and um, there's a few others out there that have been really helpful um, now one of the only things that bugs me about this other than the you know the head sculpt which I'm not too keen on is the red stripes on the wings there there's too many of them and they're too thin uh, they should be thicker red lines like on the signature uh, signature collection buzz which is over there I'll bring him over soon so you can get a little comparison between the two but articulation wise I really like the articulation in the legs it feels good and uh, the arms um, oh he has karate chop action which is cool you got the button uh, on the back here you got that karate chop action and the wings Whee! as other folks have mentioned they like the way the wings on the Disney store version of Buzz here come straight out you know they don't kind of tilt downward slightly so I like the wings but I just wish the stripes were more accurate I don't know why they did that you know if you're gonna do it really do it and do it accurate but he's only 25 pounds so it's not like it's uh, too much of a big deal, but here's what it is. Oh, I think I've got him switched off. Where's his? Uh, there it is. So you've got like uh, toy mode, play mode, and off. So what's he on now? Let's see. No infinity. And beyond. Indeed. It's a secret mission in a charted space. Let's go. No time to explain. Attack. The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. Full speed ahead. And that's from Toy Story 4, isn't it? The slingshot man uh, maneuver. This planet is toxic. Close the inhabitant to conserve oxygen. Yeah, should I close your dome, sir? So, like, the signature collection version would acknowledge all these things you're doing, like closing his uh, dome, he'll acknowledge that. And if you open up his wrist communicator, he'll acknowledge that too on the signature collection and the cloud version and all those other ones. I think away toys. I haven't actually opened his wrist communicator on this version yet. Um, there we go. He hasn't said anything. Maybe it's because I got him on toy mode or something. Let's put him on this one. Maybe now he might say some different stuff. Scanning perimeter. And press this button here and the dome flicks up. Which is uh, not a feature you get on a lot of these, but this one does have it. Laser's not too bad. Laser at full power. So can I get these two to talk to each other? Let me see if I can get that happening. All right, so I'm not sure, but I think I've got them on interactive mode. Let's see what happens when I get Buzz talking. No infinity and beyond. Oh boy, playtime. It's a secret mission <laughs> in uncharted space. Let's go. I am the dominant predator. No time to explain. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. I like the way they do that. 
And I don't have Woody from this line by Disney because I didn't like the way his eyes look on the figure. It's, it's, got, it's got very big eyes. Again, quite kind of cutesy looking, like Buzz here. But from the neck down, I think, you know, obviously other than what I've mentioned about the wings and the red stripes, I think he's a really, really good Buzz as far as the body goes. And when I take him apart to remove his head, I might see about dremeling some part of the connection on the arms there to try and get them to go a bit flatter to his side. But it's really not too bad on this one. So, um, yes. So I suppose I should just get on with uh, spraying Rex here with the matte finish to try and get rid of some of the shine. So I'll go do that now, and then we'll come back. Fingers crossed everything will work out well. Wish me luck. All right, so I just came in from spraying him, and I know it doesn't look like it's had any effect because, it, you know, the lights are really bright and they're shining right on him, but when I was in the garage just now spraying him, I could see the difference as I was spraying it, and it really did dull down a lot of that shine. It does say on the back of the spray here that it needs about 24 hours to fully dry, so bear that in mind as well. But this stuff seems good, man. I got this at a local shop, paint factory, matte finish. Let you see that. I mean, there's probably better stuff to use, but... I just wanted to just take down some of that shine and uh, I'll just let you, if you want to pause this and read exactly what's going on here, and you can do so. Anyway, so yeah, it's funny because as I was walking through the garage holding him underneath, trying not to get my hands on the varnish, uh, he really did look nice and dulled down. But under these lights, you know, you've got lights from here, here, above. You know, he's really quite well lit right now, so he, he's looking a bit shiny. But trust me, it did have a really good effect. So, um, yeah, pleased with that. Rex is going to be, you know, he's going to be looking good once that dries. And, you know, despite what you see in here, it has made a quite a significant difference to that shine. So, um, you know, like, out of 10, I'd give Rex like an 8. He's really good, man. Um, the hands pointing up like that. Maybe someone who knows more about Toy Story, because I love Toy Story, but you've got some hardcore fans out there who know their stuff. So is it weird to have his hands facing up like that? Is it meant to be kind of just capturing him in a moment where he was, you know, you know, some moment from one of the movies where he was saying something or scared or whatever the case may be. But... I would have preferred them to be more kind of facing inward, like when he's thinking and he's... Uh... See, I sprayed these as well, so they're still a little bit... Actually, it's drying quite well. Is it sticky? No, it's not as sticky as it was a few minutes ago before I came in here. So that's good. It does dry quite fast, that stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with him. I'll give him like an 8 out of 10. He's, uh, you know, got the real voice from the movie, as far as I can tell. It sounds just like him. He says plenty of stuff. And Buzz, yeah, I give him a 7 out of 10 because of the inaccurate red stripes on the wings and the slightly out of proportion head sculpt with the more kind of cartoony, slight cartoony kind of look that this one has. Uh, I'll bring over some other Buzzes now. We'll just see a little comparison. I'll give him like a 7 out of 10 just because of those little things there. But it's still a really good Buzz figure. Great articulation and a really nice clean work on the actual armor. But yeah, just a little bit too big headwise. I mean, it's really right up against the top of the dome there. There should be a bit more space. Um, but yeah, let's uh, take Rex out of the equation to make some space on the desk here. But thank you very much, Rex. Uh, dry well and look forward to seeing you on the shelf with the rest of the guys. All right, so here we have the Disney Store Buzz that we've been looking at. And then the rest, I believe, are all made by Thinkaway Toys. Obviously, uh, here we have the Signature Collection, Buzz, which is the most expensive one on the desk. And then these two, which are the cheapest ones on the desk by a long... Well, actually, no, he was only 25, wasn't he? So this one was originally 34.99, but it's on sale. I got it for 22.99. Uh, but the head sculpt is incredible. I mean... Absolutely amazing head sculpt, looks just like Buzz. The skin is really kind of vibrant, has a nice depth to it. The paintwork is super, super clean, really crisp, no mess, really good lines. 
and also even though there's not much articulation and he is missing paint details on his fingers some green and purple missing uh, maybe some other little bits here and there but really nice smooth clean paint on the armor um, like when you come over to the signature collection there's a slight kind of texture to it slight kind of not rough but definitely not as smooth as this one here I'd have to do a bit more research and find out should it be absolutely kind of smooth like that or should it have a little bit of a what looks to be a bit of a texture on there but I mean on the signature collection buzz just stuff like that you notice some little bit of mess there with the purple transitioning onto the kind of white section uh, you don't really get that with this cheaper one very clean work and like I said an amazing head sculpt and this is the other one uh, you know that came very much in a similar package to this from Toy Story 4 and uh, it is Thinkaway Toys isn't it yeah there it is or Thinking Toys it's either Thinkaway Toys or Thinking Toys it says I'm a thinking toy there but let's just see I've only recently got into all this yeah Think yeah Thinkway Toys or Thinkway so there's all the details thinkwaytoys.com I love this image of uh, Woody chasing after Forky. And you got Duke Kaboom and everyone's there. Yes sir, I haven't taken this one out of the packaging yet but obviously I will do. Because uh, what I ultimately want to do is take the head off this one and this one and replace the head on the signature collection because as you can see the skin tone on the signature collection is just nowhere near as perfect looking as this uh, Toy Story 4 buzz and obviously the Disney store one which we're taking a look at now in the review I just don't think that even compares to this one here or this one here and it's nice because they're two different expressions we've got that one there and then you've got the closed mouth, no raised eyebrows, just kind of a happy buzz just looking at you. And then more heroic kind of cheeky buzz. So, yeah, while they may be lacking some paint detail, like you can see on the hand here, there should be green there, there should be purple there. And then the tips of the fingers should also have some purple. I do, I do have the paint to do that, so look out for that on the channel soon. But that's pretty much it, folks, for now. Um, pretty happy with Disney Store Buzz but like I said I got him knowing that I was going to be removing that head because I mean it's just better proportion that head you can see is slightly bigger than this one and I just think that will just look so much better on that one and that head will look so much better on that one I'm going to do it with magnets so I can switch the heads around depending on what I want to do but keep an eye out for that on the channel and go watch some Toy Story films. If you've got Disney Plus, go watch Toy Story 1, 2, 3, 4, do it all. And check out all the little short ones as well. There's like 9 minute long special ones and 20 minute long kind of short stories. And even ones that are like a minute long as well. There's there's quite a bit on Disney Plus if you go looking for the Toy Story stuff. And uh, I just love it. Buzz is my favorite character, but I love everyone from Toy Story. So yeah, drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon next to the subscription button so you get emails every time I upload a new video and you won't miss out. And follow me on Instagram at DeanKnight333 for little pictures and clips and usually a little sneak peek at what I'm up to on the videos. Uh, usually you get a little preview on there. So check that out. But thanks for all the support on the channel, folks. And I hope you're having a great Christmas so far. I'll be back with you real soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.